Did you know there's a restaurant at Disney World that completely transforms for the Halloween season? Here you'll find great character interactions, seasonal food, and a ton of fun. Today we're here in Disney's Hollywood Studios to check out Minnie's Halloween Dine at Hollywood and Vine. That rhymed. Every season, Hollywood and Vine changes up their menu and the characters get new costumes to reflect the season. This is the only restaurant at Disney World that does this and I always love stopping in to check it out. Dining here will cost adults $63 and children $40. You'll get to meet Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto. And this time I've brought my parents along who have never been to Hollywood and Vine before to show them what they've been missing. We just got called for a reservation, so let's head inside and find our table. All right, mom, first time at Hollywood and Vine. Are you excited? I actually am excited because I've always wanted to come here and we never took you guys when you were little. So I have always wanted to come when they're in some type of costume. I've always wanted to come for either Halloween or Christmas. Well, Halloween it is. Well, since my mother deprived me of coming here as a child, I'm just kidding. We would always go to Chef Mickey's. That was always, always our character meal that we went to. But I have to say, after coming here many times now as an adult and living here, this restaurant is so much better than Chef Mickey's. Like I know Chef Mickey's has all that like nostalgic, nostalgic feel and it's like the classic, you're in the contemporary, so it's really, really cool going. I understand that, but the food is so much worse and the character interactions there are, I mean, they, they have like a set time. I forget someone told me that used to work there that the characters ha only have like 30-ish seconds at each table over at Chef Mickey's. And here at Hollywood and Vine, they spend so much more time with you. Now, usually when I come, I come with my brother, Ryan, and we strategically kind of come around like three in the afternoon. So it's a random time and the restaurant is pretty empty and we see the characters like so many times. I'm, they come around so many times that it's like, actually we're like, okay, like that's enough. Like <laughs> Mickey, stop coming to our table because they come so often when the restaurant is empty. I mean, today the restaurant is significantly less empty and there's way less tables than at Chef Mickey's, but still it's a little bit full. We came right around dinner time at, at 6.30. So I'm curious to see how the character interactions are gonna be now. I think we have a little bit of time before any of the characters come to our table. So let me show you guys the buffet. And the way I kind of like to do character buffets is I like to show you guys everything on the buffet and then I'll show you guys what I get on each plate. All right, the characters are kind of dancing around a little bit, but let me show you guys this buffet. Buffet. So first off, we've got some bread, some focaccia, and some spitzweck roll, but there's none left on there. Um, there's also a little salad bar here. So you've got a Caesar salad pre-made and then some mixed greens that you can kind of make your own salad with with all the toppings. After the salad, there is some vegetarian chili and some chicken noodle soup. Definitely going to have to get myself probably some of both of that. Also, we've got some fruit here and then some more like pre-made salads. It says panzanella salad. Oh, I actually enjoy a good panzanella salad there. There's some macaroni salad, some potato salad, some cucumber salad, and then also some peel and eat shrimp back there. Also, we've got some fruit here and then some more like pre-made salads. It says panzanella salad. Oh, I actually enjoy a good panzanella salad there. There's some macaroni salad, some potato salad, some cucumber salad, and then also some peel and eat shrimp back there. Now for the food food. First up, we've got some sour cream and chive whipped potatoes. Disney buffet potatoes are always so good. We have some seared salmon with miso paste, wasabi cream and wasabi peas there. Some salmon cakes. So we've got two forms of salmon. There's also some baked marinated chicken here, some caramelized Brussels sprouts, and then we've got olive oil crushed potatoes. I'm kind of starting to see some stuff I'm recognizing from last year's Halloween buffet. This is a roasted mushroom farro risotto, a crispy tofu with an Asian glaze. We've got some yuca and moho. I think that's new. I don't think they had that last year. And I think this cilantro lemon rice, I don't think they had that last year either. I do know they had this beef stew with root veggies, and I think I remember it being pretty good. They've got some Mexican street corn cheesy cauliflower. Oh my gosh, that is definitely new. We'll definitely be trying that. This is a spiced rub pork loin with sauerkraut slaw and an apple gas streak. Some macaroni and cheese with shrimp and bacon. I remember that. I definitely remember these meatballs with barbecue sauce and pineapple. And we've got some gravy to go with our 
roasted turkey that they're carving here. And the kids' stuff, although while always basic, it always kind of hits. We've got some penne pasta with marinara, some broccoli with carrots, some plain white rice, and then it looks like some plain baked chicken. We can't forget the kids' meal buffet classics. We've got chicken nuggets here, some mini corn dogs, some tater tots, and then some kids' plain mac and cheese. Well, we've seen everything on one side of the buffet. Usually both sides at like Disney restaurants, both sides of the buffet are the same. But here at Hollywood and Vine, I always remember there being like a couple of different things on each side. So we're gonna check out the other side too. It looks like this year though, the only thing they have different on this side is a beef strip loin instead of the turkey. So we've got strip loin on this side, turkey on the other. Guys, I am already starting to see the difference between coming at a random time and between meals at three o'clock coming right at peak dinner time. The buffet is crazy up there. People are acting like wild animals up there at the buffet. Like they haven't eaten all day. Um, but I have finally got my first plate of food. It was, it, was, it was rough, but we've done it. My mom just mentioned that there was a little kid doing a worm up at the buffet, and I did forget about that, but I did see that. But that's, that's what level people are on here tonight. All right, round one. I just went with soup and salad here. Nate and Sean would be very proud of me. We've got some vegetarian chili, some chicken noodle here, and I made myself a little salad. My mom got some, some shrimp there. You always love the peel and eat shrimp at a Disney buffet. I do really love it, and my hat so efficient before i do get to any of this food i do want to mention that none of this is like gourmet or anything special really however i do think the food here is better than chef mickey's so there's that um, but we're not going to be having anything anything too crazy we'll start with this vegetarian chili here i always love Disney's vegan plant-based vegetarian chili loaded with beans, corn. It's nice and hot too. Disney's vegetarian chili is so much better than their regular chili. I stand by that. The chicken noodle though, it does look ex to be an exact copy of uh, Progresso. Oh yeah, that has no flavor. We need some pep. I put pepper on mine. I didn't put extra salt though. We need lots of pepper here. A little bit better. My mom is making these peel and eat shrimp look so good though. I might have to go back and get some for round round 1.5. Well, I'm still finishing my my round one here and my dad is on, what is that, round three? Yes, round three. Gotta make it count here. And I cannot believe my dad is eating tofu. He is, him and my mom are such picky eaters. Have you ever had tofu before? Not until today. First time and he actually First. likes it. What is it? It's like a sweet and sour teriyaki like a teriyaki. Place. Tofu. Yeah. Looks good. I'm gonna have to try some. Hi Pluto. I like your collar. We should get one of those for our dog. Get on it, Dad. Can we take a photo? I'll take a selfie. Do a funny face. That was just embarrassing. Thank you, Pluto. It's Minnie, dressed as a witch. Minnie, I almost mistaken you for my mom. She could sometimes be a witch. <laughs> That's not nice. I'm sorry, I thought of that on the spot. I didn't know what else to That's say, a good so. Picture. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm getting ready to head up for round two. My mom just got round two. What did you get? I got turkey, which I waited a really long time for. I felt so bad. They have one poor cast member, two back there. That's it. He needs some help. He um, needs some milk. Um, uh, what is this? Shrimp mac and cheese, regular mac and cheese. I've never eaten a corn dog. So a I corn dog? You've never had a corn dog never. nugget? No, no. Okay, well, eat it on camera right now. Yeah, but what if I don't like it? Do you have to dip it in? I mean, I eat like my hot dogs and mustard. I don't think you're going to like it. Best thing she's ever had. No, you know what? I tried it in Disneyland. And I didn't like it. This is better. But this is the first time I ever had a nugget. You like corn dog nugget? Okay, so she's just discovered that she had a Disneyland corn dog. But you're you like a corn dog nugget from Hollywood and Vine Buffet better than a fresh Disneyland corn glizzy? It was that one at the Red Park. Yeah, that's like a fa that's Disneyland's famous corn dog. <laughs> I don't like that. Wow. All right, round two. 
I'm loaded on up, locked and loaded here. I've got some of the strip loin, super rare piece, which is perfect for me. Some mashed potatoes, some of that cheesy cauliflower. I cannot wait to try that. My mom inspired me on the shrimp. My dad inspired me on that tofu. And then I've got a, a piece of yuca here as well. All right, let's try this, this tofu here first. It looks really nice and glazed. It's good. The outside is crispy. The sauce is a little sweet, a little tangy, a little barbecue-y. It's good. Some of the yuca here. This is seasoned super well. I, I love yuca. I think it's like a super underrated thing. I don't know if it's just because I lived with my Brazilian cousin for a little bit. She always used to make me yuca and I loved it. But ever since then, I'm a huge fan of yuca and you really don't see it on menus too often. So I'm really surprised to see it at a Disney character buffet. But this is delicious. It's seasoned really well. I think it's in like a mojo marinade or something. And you would think that would make the yuca itself not crispy, but that's not the case. It stayed crispy and it's like super seasoned in that mojo marinade. That's delicious. Some of that cheesy cauliflower. This is like insanely cheesy. Again, I thought the cauliflower would be like way too mushy and stuff because it's kind of just sitting in that cheesy sauce. And I don't like when vegetables are overcooked and mushy. And this is shockingly not. It's, the cauliflower is cooked to perfection, honestly. And then all that cheese, you can't go wrong. Some strip loin. That's good. Mine is super rare. Did you get a more well done piece? Yeah, he actually cooked it for me. I dipped it in some of the mashed potatoes. Mm. Disney World never misses on a character buffet mashed potato. Chef Mickey's are better. Okay, Chef Mickey's mashed potatoes are better. They're just so creamy and dreamy over here, but these have a sour cream and chive flavor, so I enjoy them. They're still really good. Nice to see ya. Oh, I didn't even know he was right Come on, woman. We just saw Minnie earlier. You guys should have a costume contest. I don't know who would win. It would be really close. You guys all look great. You're so tall, I can't even see you. <laughs> Watch out, though. There's a spider on your hat. Do you want me to get it? It's still there. It won't come off. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Goofy. You want to get it? Dad, you need a photo. Get a photo with Come on. I'm embarrassing him. <laughs> he hates this. Wow. Oh, yeah. Bring it in. He's, he's fuming with me right now. He's fuming. I can tell. Okay. I'll get you guys now. Make a goofy face. All right, I'm going up for round three and I'm gonna get a couple things on my plate that I want my mom to try. Because like I said, she's not a very adventurous eater, but I know if I say I'll film her, she'll try it. So I'm gonna get a couple of different things, of course for myself, and then also for my mom. See what she'll try. We'll see how dedicated to the vlog she is. All right, mom, I got you some stuff that I'm gonna make you try. I can see you're thrilled. That, yeah, that's for you. Did you try the tofu yet? Okay, well now's the time. I, no, I, I, I got like little samples for you to try. I'll tell you what I got for you. So first the tofu, so go ahead and dive into that. I don't think you've probably ever had tofu ever. Never. This is a good one to start with because it's actually good. It smells like sorry, I get just Look at that mush. <laughs> oh, come on. What an oh, overreact. Oh, come on. Act like you okay. just ate a mountain oyster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, the Brussels sprout. You say you've I've had, had one before. Well, I've had balsamic glazed ones, and I like those. But what, how is this I one had these. I had these last year, and I didn't really like them. I don't think they're great Brussels sprouts. So what is, so I've had Brussels sprouts, so that means I don't have to try it. No, you have to try it. Um, 
spit it out. Look at that. It's like a rabbit nibbling on a clover leaf. Picky eater Hollywood and Vine reviews. Put it on your own napkin. <laughs> I, I don't I don't blame you for that one because this brush this was better than the tofu. Okay. Well, tofu was in my top five of the day. Okay. Now for the cheesy cauliflower. Where's that? Right here. Oh god. I have such bad cauliflower memories of my grandmother making um, cauliflower and macaroni. Ooh. And stunk up the whole house. Oh, that's like so big. You, you, you really? It is. Oh really? You're barely getting any. Like a little kid. I mean, Don't put that fork down. You've still got more. That's better than anything else I ate. Okay, well, you have two more things to try. You have to try this meatball here, no, and you have I to try the yuca. I do not eat anybody's meatballs but the ones I make. I, I really don't. I won't eat them anywhere. Nobody else's meatballs but my own. Okay, well, try the yuca. You're chasing it with a Diet Coke. Just pick it up. It's like a giant... Steak fries. You love steak fries. I do love steak fries. Just start calling it. It doesn't smell like a steak fry. Smell like Alright, that's the best thing. It's good, and you didn't want to try it. Look at that. This tastes... Is that cilantro on it? Because that's what I taste. It's a moho marinated yuca. Okay. I'm surprised I like that, because I don't usually like a moho... Marinade, like when you make. I mean, do I want more? Not really, but it's definitely the better of anything else. You won't try the meatball? One meatball. I also got myself some of the kitty mac and cheese, a kitty corn dog, a slice of turkey because I haven't tried it yet, and then some more strip loin, extra rare. The turk looks a little dry, but Bye -bye. Thank you. that's okay. not as dry as I would have thought, but the texture is like a little off. Like it wasn't, you know how when like chicken somehow sometimes has that like chewy-ish texture? It's kind of what I'm getting with the turkey and my parents both just left the table and Minnie is coming to, back to our table next. Why'd they leave me like that? Don't they know I'm scared of having to talk to a character, especially alone? Minnie, my family left. They left. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you again. You left me alone to meet Minnie again. Oh, she was back again? Yeah. That's the thing about Hollywood and Vine is they come back a bunch of times. Since the restaurant is smaller, not only do they spend more time with your table like to begin with, but they also will like come back a couple of times. And the restaurant is starting to empty out a little bit more now that it's getting later. So we're probably going to meet each character like at least twice here. But you're going up for dessert? Yeah. All right, I'll be, I'll be shortly behind. All right, let's take a look at these desserts here. Here we have that seasonal bread pudding. My mom said it's really good. It looks like it has some raisins on top. Here, we've got the apple crisp. Look, we've got two like fresh desserts. I'm definitely gonna dive into both of them, try them out. Over here, we've got sugar cookies. This is a Bavarian chocolate cake, some chocolate chips here. And then if we go around, we've got a red velvet cupcake, the blueberry lemon tart, which my mom said is also very good and then a coconut cake. And you can't forget, this is one of, the, I believe, the few buffets that still has soft serve ice cream. They used to have it at Chef Mickey's. I think they took it away though, but it's still here at Hollywood and Vine. So this will be good if we get some like the bread pudding or the apple crisp and then we put this on top. Oh my gosh, and I never noticed this. I've been to Hollywood and Vine so many times at this point, but they have caramel syrup, chocolate syrup, and then sprinkles over it. I don't know if this is new or not, but I have never seen this. They have it so you can add it on top of your ice cream. Oh my gosh, how am I just finding this out? Keeping it light on the desserts tonight. I got some of that apple crisp with the vanilla ice cream. Some of the bread pudding, I don't love raisins. So I tried to get a piece without raisins and then the blueberry lemon thing here, which I should love. Blueberry lemon first. I didn't like it, I love that. That was my favorite. It's okay, I just don't love like Dizzy's tiny buffet desserts in like the little shells. Like they're usually unimpressive to me. I don't know. That one was actually impressive to me. It's not bad, but it's not anything anything special. I do love here how at the buffet, most like 
buffets don't have like a warm option and here they have two so we've got the bread pudding with the ice cream all right all right i'll get some ice cream i can't even pick it up it's slipping and sliding that is good nice and warm some of the apple crisp with the vanilla ice cream it doesn't have enough sugar i feel the apple crisp it doesn't have enough cinnamon or sugar Bread pudding was the best thing out of the things I tried. We need to get out of here before Goofy comes back. Let's go. I can't do another character. All right, done with Hollywood and Vine. Your first time. Share your thoughts. What did you think? I liked it. Um, I'm glad I got to experience it because I've never been. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really care for the food as much as I. I know bit, Chef Mickey's gets a bad rap, but I actually like the food there. I don't. You're mind sick. It. Um, I like the mashed potatoes there better. Uh, I really like my favorite thing here. I think it was like the, the baked chicken. That was really good. What else did I like? And I like the, for dessert, I like the blueberry lemon tart. Okay, well, I think my dad is on the same page as I am. I think you're full. Chef Mickey's or Hollywood and Vine? Um, definitely here. Better variety, I think. Better pizza, better ingredients, like Papa John's. Yeah, I don't know about Papa John's, but... Uh, Better character interaction. Yeah, I value that character <laughs> interaction highly. No, I just think the food, a little, little more selection and a little better, I think, overall. Agreed. So yeah, obviously I agree with my dad there. I think this buffet is one of the better, like, classic character buffets if you're wanting to meet, like, Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and Pluto. I personally think this is the one to come to, especially using my hack of like coming between like three and four at a weird off time for dining because that restaurant is so empty. I think the character interactions here out of most other character buffets is better just because the restaurant is so much smaller than even like Crystal Palace or Chef Mickey's Tusker House. This restaurant is significantly smaller than any of those. So you're gonna get the characters coming around quite a bit if that's something that you enjoy, obviously. I don't really love the characters, but if that's something you're looking for, I, I don't know if Hollywood and Vine can be beat. And in terms of the food, we're not getting anything gourmet here, but it's passable, you know? Some of the stuff we tried was good. I really like the yuca, the strip loin, the mashed potatoes. Some of the desserts were good as well. I think overall, the food and the characters, when you kind of combine the two, this is one of the better character classic character buffets and when you kind of add in the seasonal aspect of it with halloween or they do a christmas one that's also really fun i think it's just like so unique and it kind of puts you in the holiday spirit i don't know it's such a good place to come for either christmas or halloween during the spring they do like a springtime dine and they're in like little florally outfits and then summer they're in more like beachy attire but i say come for halloween come for christmas it's a great way to celebrate the holiday and it's it's a fun way to do so as well well now that we're done with dinner i figured we'd actually hit up some rides my parents were in the park earlier and i know they said the wait times for everything were super long but i just checked and the wait time for like a couple of the rides are really short i think mickey and minnie's is only 30 minutes so we might hop in line there That is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching Hollywood and Vine. Come check it out during Halloween, during Christmas. It's a good time.
and it turned out to be a pretty decent Hollywood Studios evening. It's not very hot out right now, which is nice, it's still toasty, but not as hot as it's been. Uh, we got to ride some rides and we got to have a nice dinner, so I call that a success. Shout out to all of my awesome Patreon subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as always. I think now we're gonna head over to Fantasmic, maybe catch the final show of the evening. That's another hack for you guys. If there's two showings of Fantasmic, usually the second show is like super empty. So always try and go to the second show if you're not too tired, that's what we're gonna do. It should be, should be pretty empty over there. So we're gonna go watch Fantasmic. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you for watching. If you like honest Disney food reviews, hit that subscribe button and shall see you guys next time.